Hello and welcome to another solo wargaming session demonstration. Uh, today we're going to be playing Chain of Command by the Two Fat Lardies, a very popular set of World War II game, uh, set of World War II rules. Uh, this is platoon level, so it's quite small, uh, low level. Uh, this game, uh, normally with my solo games, I've usually played them with a little bit of a twist, like with hidden movements and things. In this one, I'm just going to play it absolutely straight, uh, straight out of the rules. I just want to see how that works. And each uh, turn I will take uh, for the best of whichever side it is I'm playing, uh, make the best decisions based on that. Uh, today's game is based in uh, June of 1942. It's part of the German drive towards Stalingrad, but I'm going to be using Romanians who were supporting the 6th Corps of the Romanians, were supporting the German 1st Panzer Army as they advanced to, uh, over the Donets. Uh, river. This particular scenario is fictional but it's going to be a Romanian platoon attacking against a Soviet held position uh, which is a little railway junction and farm with a little uh, supply depot as well. So that's the objective for this particular game. Uh, the Romanians are a particularly interesting side actually for the Second World War because they joined the Axis in 1941 through to 43-44 uh, they fight with the Axis and they're actually the third largest field army uh, that supports Germany so they're actually bigger than the Italian army but they never really get to, seem to get such a look in with war gamers. Uh, in 1944 they change sides and they end up fighting with the Allies uh, and they are actually the fourth largest Allied army so they're uh, they're not only the third largest Axis army, but they're also the fourth largest Allied army. And as I say, they sometimes really get overlooked in war gaming. You don't really see them that often. Uh, I do 15 mil gaming. There's very few figures out there for 15 mil, but I did manage to to find some. Uh, Battlefront do some, I think, but I don't think they're available these days. And very hard to find. Uh, but I also got some through Command Decision, which were um, which used to be Skytrax. Uh, so I did manage to track a few down, so I've uh, added to the Battlefront ones I had. Uh, talk you a little bit about this game, I'll show you what, um, what, the, what the board looks like, what the forces are, and we'll get started. So this is our board from the Romanian side. Uh, unfortunately I don't have any Romanian jumping off points yet, but I do have them using the German ones instead. Uh, we've got a small farmstead here, uh, with uh, covered in immersion markers, as per from Roller 1 informed me is what they're called, these um, sheep and barrels and things. Uh, we have this river which seems to divide the entire uh, side of this uh, board here and then next to that we also have this railway track that runs all the way across the board and as I say this is the important part, this little farmstead and the ammo storage dump here. Uh, this is the main objective for the Romanians. Uh, this is an attack defence game, as straight out of the scenario uh, suggestions in the chain of command uh, basic rules, which meant that the Soviets were able to set up to 18 inches from their uh, board edge, which basically meant the line of the railway track, it's literally, uh, fortunately put it in 18 inches. Their patrol markers set off there, the Romanians were given D6 worth of moves for their patrol markers. I've done all this prior, prior to the game anyway. They were able to push forward a little bit and they then place three jumping off points. One of them is here uh, in this clump of trees on the right flank. It means they may be able to get six inches away. They'll be probably be able to get over that river. The next one is in these trees here in this cover. So again close to the river but still quite a way to go. And the third and final one is on the road uh, because this part of the board is quite open so they could only put theirs on the road here and the Soviets, let's have a look again at the Soviets so they have one jumping off point here on the edge of the board on their right flank uh, they were fortunate enough to have one here in the farmstead itself so that's uh, quite a good position and then also one on their left flank as well here forces uh, we have, uh, this is the Soviets, they have four sections, each of 
uh, 12 men and a junior leader. Uh, they also have a 30mm mortar uh, with uh, three crew, four crew, and uh, their section, uh, their, uh, sorry, their, um, their commander over here, and junior leader and senior leader. And they also have this 45mm anti-tank gun, uh, which is a, which also has a junior leader. They have a force morale of 10. And for the Romanians, we have a pretty basic force. It is uh, the command of uh, lieutenants and a sergeant, um, with a pistol and a rifle. And then we have three sections, each of uh, an LMG team of six men, and two rifle teams of five men each. So there's 16 men per section. Oh yeah, and also a junior leader per section as well. So there's 17 men per section. Uh, we also have this R2 tank as well, uh, Romanian made uh, light tank, which is why I've given the Soviets that 45 millimeter anti-tank gun. Uh, the Romanians have got a force morale of nine, uh, so it's one lower than the Soviets, so the Soviets have got initiative. Right, well the Soviets have the initiative, so they get their first turn, they've got five command dice. So we've got a five, which is a chain of command point, so that's off the starting block straight away. Uh, we've got one which is a team, two which is a section, three junior leader, four senior leader. Uh, very early start, so I think at the moment we'll ignore the senior leader because we don't want him uh, blocking up people coming on. But if I put in the two and the one together, that will give us two senior, two junior leaders to bring on two sections. So I'll get those set up. It's very nice, simple beginnings. Uh, the junior leader has brought on a section, placed some of them in this barn here, and the other half out. The reason I've put only half in is because there's only a doorway there that they can fire out, so only a couple of men can fire out of there anyway. So they may as well have some hiding and cover behind. And also, they've managed to get their 45mm gun out straight away. So that's there, and that is actually covering that road. It's probably in the best position, because that's where the tank will arrive. Okay, let's see what the Romanians get for their first turn. Ooh, that's not great. Uh, five, that's one chain of command points at least. So that's not so bad. Uh, we've also got, that was a two, not that back. So we've got two ones, which are teams, a two, which is a section, a three, which is a junior leader. But we can combine some of these. So what I will do is I'll put the two, two ones together to turn that into a two to make a section and uh, a junior leader. So that will bring at least three sections on or even the tank as well. So I'll get those set up. So the Romanians have used their two sections uh, to jump out on this jumping off point here, managed to get across the river uh, straight away to threaten the flank of the objective. These guys are pushing down the center towards the bridge, uh, supporting the R2, which has also been brought on by the junior leader as well. So, so far they are currently outnumbering the Soviet defenders. But let's just see what happens with their turn. Okay, back on the Soviet side, we've got two sixes, which means they retain control of the phase. A five, so that gives them another chain of command point. So they're on two now, and then two two, so that's two junior leaders, and they also get uh, sorry two sections, and they will also get that second uh, phase straight after this one. The Soviets brought on two sections, one of which they placed in the house over here to uh, make it a little bit more of a stronger fortification over there. The other guys have appeared in the tree line uh, on their left flank with the Romanians who are crossing the river here in direct fire. They are 18 inches so they are only fire on them. They are in the open, they are firing at average soldiers so they need fives and sixes. They have got 11 rifles and six extra dice for their belt, uh, their magazine-fed LMG. So we're looking at fives and sixes here. That's one, two, three, four, five hits. As you would expect, quite a low, low number for given the the range. <clears throat> they are in the open, so a one or a two is a miss, three or four is a shock, five or a six is a kill, and this will be spread across the units here. So let's have a look. 
ones and twos don't count. So that's two. So that's one kill and two shock. So immediately remove two riflemen and put down the shock. The Soviets retain control of the phase or the turn, so they get the next phase. Uh, they've still got a section to bring on, they've still got their leaders and they've, uh, their platoon HQ, they've also got this 30mm mortar as well that they can bring on. So Let's see what we can do with this. So 6 on its own is nothing, 5 is another chain of command points, so that's there now on 3. And two twos and a 1. So the Soviets have decided to use their junior leader with the guys in the, uh, the, the tree line to open fire again and they brought another section over in the farmyard. So they're now firing with the junior leader so he gets an extra dice. So we're looking at fives and sixes to hit. So there's not a great deal in there. Let's pull out the ones that aren't hits. <coughs> so that's four hits. And one and two is nothing, three, four is a shock, five, six is a kill. So that's two kills this time, and two shock. Ooh, they're taking some fire, these Romanians. So, two kills. We'll take one from this team, and one from this team as well. So I'll put them back. Okay, the Soviets have had their turn. They've caused a bit of shock and death on the uh, section on the right-hand flank. They've still got one full section to bring on also their platoon headquarters. So let's just see what we can do. <clears throat> We've got six. Six on its own does nothing. Two fives, that gives them two uh, chain of command points. So that's them spent. Then two threes are two junior leaders. So the Romanians use their two <coughs> junior leaders. One to move this team forward. Uh, at the double, they basically belted right up to that forest and are now out of line of sight of those Soviets over there and also the ones in the woods, uh, in their buildings. Uh, they've also moved forward the R2 uh, just with one uh, junior commander uh, activation and the second one is their whole machine gun is going to fire directly down the line at the 45mm gun which is in light cover because it's behind those fences. Uh, it's only firing at half dice because it's moved, so it's not six, it's three. Let's see what we need. We need fives and sixes, so that's a four, three and a one, so that's a miss. And now let's see what the Soviets can do in their turn. Uh, six on its own is nothing. So we've got uh, three senior leaders and a section. As the Romanians are in cover, there's not a great deal those sections could do, so all I've done is brought on the uh, senior leaders. Uh, put them in cover behind in the compound. And back with the Romanians, they've still got this section that they need to bring on. They've also got their platoon headquarters that they need to bring on as well. So we'll see what we can get out of this. Uh, six does nothing on alone on its own. They've got senior leader, so they can, at least they can bring on their platoon headquarters. They also have two ones and a three, so that's a junior leader and two ones. So the Romanians are brought on their. Uh, Command section, command unit, uh, hiding behind this haystack. They've moved these forward. They can't get any further forward than the river at the moment. They'll cross that next turn if they get activated. And they've moved their R2 forward <laughs> only one inch. Uh, but it's still going to fire again at the 45mm anti-tank gun over there. So fives and sixes are hits. That's one hit. Uh, we're calling them as being in light cover. So a 6 is a kill, 4 to 5 is a shock. So that's one shock on the anti-tank gun. Okay, back to the Soviets. Uh, they've pretty much got everybody on board at the moment. They're just missing the 30mm mortar. What they really need to do is get that 45mm uh, anti-tank gun activated uh, to start firing at the R2 before it does any more damage to them. So let's see what we can get. Uh, that's 3 sixes and two threes so two junior leaders and also three sixes they need the junior leaders the three sixes end the turn uh, and they also get a second phase straight after this as well so uh, at this point that doesn't really do a great deal because nobody is pinned or there's no mortars going off but at least it ends the turn and they get a second turn. So we'll fire at that R2, I think. So our Soviet leader is going to actually 
get rid of the shock with his first activation. A second one will be to get the gun to fire. He needs a five, <clears throat> um, and that's it because it doesn't add anything for the Soviets' uh, initiative, and there's no minuses for the um, the uh, the shot. So five or above. That's a three. That's a miss. So they've shot and missed. The Soviets retain control. So in the new turn, uh, six alone does nothing. So they've got their leader, they've also got a junior leader and a one and a two. So I think again they're going to get that anti-tank gun to fire again at the R2 as it comes down that road. This time the uh, junior leader is not reducing shock because he doesn't need to so he's going to give use his two command initiatives to add a plus one to their fire. So instead of a five it's now a four. So that's double six. That means they get actually three extra D6 added onto their strike dice. The strike dice of the 45 mil is uh, <coughs> five, so that now goes to eight because of that extra uh, double six. And they need fives and sixes because they're firing at the front of this tank. Not a single hit, so that's not a single hit. The R2 rolls its saves. Let's see, if this gets no saves, it needs fives and sixes on its saves. If it gets no saves, then there may be some kind of effect. Let's have a look. Five, so it's actually saved more than the uh, anti-tank gun <coughs> excuse me, had caused. So there's no effect on the R2, so it can continue. I right, really need to get these Romanians moving forward, I think, at this point. So uh, we've still got to bring on this section. See so what we've got here. We've got another chain of command dice. Point, another chain of command point, so that's up to four. Uh, six on its own does nothing, and three ones ooh, could combine those into a junior leader and get that R2 moving forward or drop some of this shock. I think I'm going to get that R2 moving forward because it's currently being fired at by an anti tank rifle, an anti tank gun. So the R2 has managed to get a little further forward. Uh, it is still at effective range though, so it's not close range yet, just on 18. Next turn it'll probably be. Uh, close enough to fire. It's firing its whole machine guns. Fives and sixes are hits. Ooh, there's not a single hit. So, not particularly effective, but at least they're getting closer. Not a great deal has happened at the moment, but let's see if we can change that with the Soviet stuff, see what they get. <clears throat> so, a six does nothing on its own. Uh, a three, two, a two, and a two. So, uh, a couple of sections can't really fire. But they've got their junior leader who at least can fire at the R2, so they'll use that for that. Right, so we're back with the uh, the gun. Uh, needs a five or above. It gets plus one because the junior leader is using all of his initiatives to get it to fire. So that's a four and above. That's a three, so that's a miss. God, what are they firing at? Okay, I mean, that was a terrible turn for the Soviets. So let's see if the Romanians can improve on that. Well, we've got the six, does nothing, as always. Uh, two junior leaders, a section, and the commander. So that means we can bring a section on, so that's great. And possibly do something with these junior leaders as well, get them moving stuff forward. Right, we've got the R2 firing again, it's shifted forward slightly. Uh, I've brought on the other section of the Romanians. I've also uh, activated the commander to move that section over the river, so they're now behind the woods. Uh, the final section over on the right hand flank has reduced its shock a little bit as well, so uh, we've just got now the junior leader in the R2. He's firing, uh, he's, he's moved it forward, he's also firing the main gun. This is the same as firing the machine gun, because he's only got a strike dice of 3 when he's firing HE, but it hits on a 4, 5 or 6 and it also reduces their cover by one, so they will then be classed as being in the open rather than light. So let's have a look at this, four fives or sixes are hits, one hit. Now one or two is uh, nothing, three four is a shock, five six is a kill. So that's at least one kill on that crew. Let's have a look at what the Soviets can do. Uh, so we've got four, that's the senior commander, a one and three twos for their sections. So I'll probably combine some of these, put some of these guys onto Overwatch, I think. 
our senior Soviet commander has placed the unit in here on overwatch looking this way, this unit in here on overwatch looking this way. Junior commander has placed the unit on the left flank on overwatch as well. And finally he's going to use his last command uh, initiative to get the anti-tank gun to fire again at the R2. So we're rolling on fives. So that's a hit. <coughs> it has a strike of five. Need five sixes to hit. And that's cocked to re-roll that. So that's one hit. The R2 has a armour of uh, four, so it needs fives and sixes to deflect those. It has done. So that's the same. Uh, equal net hits. So we roll again. It on a one or a two there's no effect. Three or four it halts and engages the fire in the next phase, which it already is doing. Five or six it gets a shock and also reverses 1d6 immediately. So five or six, so it reverses uh, and takes a shock. Brilliant. So that was a pretty poor turn for the uh, Romanians with their R2 retreating. Let's see if they can get a handle on this situation. Well, double six, so that means they return the, retain the phase. Uh, a one, a two and a four. Okay, so we can do quite a bit with that, I think. Let's have a little look. Okay, into their activations. The Romanians uh, have taken the R2 tank and they've uh, taken off their shock, first of all. The uh, senior commander has moved this unit forward up to the, the river and he's also moved forward this unit and they're about to fire at the anti-tank gun. However, they're first of all going to take some shots from these guys in here who are on overwatch. Now there's three of those looking out of the, win uh, the door. Uh, normally it's two if you're leaning out of a window. They're looking out of a big barn door so I'm going to give them three shots. Uh, they need four, five, sixes to hit. That's not a single hit. So then we go over to the Romanians who are now firing at the anti-tank gun. Now there's 21 of these, they're firing everything. They've got 15 rifles and 6 coming in from the uh, light machine gun that they've got as well. Uh, we'll see what happens with this before I do anything else with the tank over there. So we need 4, 5 and 6 this cost of the range. So I'll get rid of every miss. Yeah, it's not going to be too bad, I think. It's only a small crew as well, so that's what? Ooh. Six, seven hits. So seven hits on those. They are in light cover. In light cover, a six is a kill. Four, five is a shock. One, two, or three is no effect. There's only four crew left on that, so let's see what we can do. Looking for sixes. Uh, one, six, so that's one kill. And one shock. Not a terrific, um, not a terrific uh, score there, but it is what it is. So uh, we roll to see if the junior leader is one of the killed. One of one he is. He is. So that's him off. So they now have shock. So actually, that goes on to uh, bad things happen table. So the Soviets may suffer on their morale for that. Uh, the R2 is now going to use that second activation for the junior leader. He's reduced shock. He's now going to fire at this using three dice. <coughs> Four, five, six is a hit. And uh, the cover is reduced if there are hits. That's not a single hit. But we'll have a look at the bad things happen table. See what happens there. Right, junior leader killed. Uh, roll of one to three and they get minus one. Uh, point from their force morale. Uh, four to six minus two points from their force morale. So that's two points off. So they're now down onto eight, the Soviets. Ooh, not great for them. Okay, second phase for the Romanians. Uh, six does nothing. Five gives them another chain of command point. So that's now at five. Uh, so that's off. So they have a four and two twos. So I might be able to do something with that. That's pretty, uh, quite a nice spread. Okay, we've got some firing going on. We've uh, got the Romanians across the river here. These guys have been activated by the senior commander. They're going to be firing again at that anti-tank gun to try and take it out. They're going to take fire from the barn, first of all, uh, from the few guys there. They've also moved these guys up uh, into the woods 
and they are going to take uh, start shooting into here uh, to try to reduce this flank and then try to work their way around. So we'll start over here. They're firing at them because they're on overwatch. So they're firing with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 rifles. That's 5, 10, 11 plus the uh, machine gun. Uh, number six, so they're firing, they need four, five, sixes to hit. So we'll get rid of the, because they are at close range. And they are in light cover, calling woodland light cover. So six is a kills, four fives a shock. So we've got two kills straight off. Uh, get rid of the uh, two kills, two shock on the Romanians. Let's see if the commander is part of that. One or two he is. Nope, he's not. So again, there's three teams in there, so I spread that shock amongst those. Take off two rifles. And they're firing back then with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 troops in there in total, uh, 10 of which are rifles, <coughs> and one of which is the LMG, so that's 16 firing back. So we're looking at 4, 5s and 6s. The Soviets are going to be in light cover as well. That's a better hit count and see how many of those are killed. Six of the kills and four fives of shock. So we've got two kills. That's much better. Uh, two kills and five shock. See if their commander is killed. Uh, no, he's not. So those two Soviet dead, one on each team. One of them and five shock. Oh, I should have taken one off for those Romanians firing because of their shock, but never mind. Done now. And over here we've got the Soviets. I said there were three firing out of here, so they're four, five, six is to hit those Romanians. That's two hits, and uh, they're in light cover, so six is a kill. Nope, uh, two shock though. So that will reduce their firing at least. Two shocks so they they haven't taken any hits yet, I don't think. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, of which fifteen are rifles. So yeah, it's the same as before. Six, ten. 15 rifles plus the 6 for the LMG. So these are firing at the <coughs> anti tank team. Uh, looking at 4, 5s, and 6s. So let's get rid of all the misses. That's a reasonable number of hits. How many is that? 2, 4. Six, seven. So yeah, seven hits. And they are in light cover. So six is kills, four, five is shock. Two kills, uh, but no shock. Uh, but that has reduced their number down to one. So that means our anti-tank gun is effectively out of use. Right, so things have started to kick off a little bit. Let's see what the Soviets can do in return. And they've got one chain of command points. That puts that up to four. Six does nothing, uh, but they have two ones and a two. So that could be a junior leader and a team, or it could be uh, two sections. Let's have a think about this. First of all, this unit over here will come off Overwatch and they will fire over there at the Romanians in the woods. Uh, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
nine rifles and an SMG. However, they also have shock, which I did forget to take off the Romanians last time, but I won't forget to take it off these. Uh, six for their LMG. They've got five shock, so that reduces down to two, four, six, eight, ten. Four, five, six is a hit. Not brilliant. Uh, six is a kills, <clears throat> four, five is a shock. No kills, only one shock. So that just goes up one. Not a great effort there from the Soviets. So this Soviet section has moved out into the open. There's still these guys here. Uh, they are firing. They've got three rifles firing out of that doorway into the uh, Romanians there. They've also got another seven rifles firing and an LMG firing on six dice. So let's get those rolled. So that's four, five, sixes. Get rid of the misses. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. They're in heavy cover. So a five is a shock, a six is a kill. So two shock, three shock, and that's it. Three shock on those. So there are three separate units in there. Okay, back onto the Romanians' turn. So we've got one six, get rid of that. A five, so they now have a full chain of command dice. So that means they may be able to do something. Uh, senior leader, junior leader, and a junior leader. That's good because that means they can get their tank moving and a few other bits and pieces. So let's crack on with that. Okay, on this Romanian right flank, uh, the junior leader has reduced shock on one of these teams, but he's then also getting them to fire at the Soviets here in the tree line. So we've got uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 Romanians. Uh, so that's 11 rifles in total. Let's put these together. So that's 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 rifles. They've also got their box LMG and they are suffering from 3 shock. So they're looking at 4, 5, 6 is to hit. Well, that's quite a lot of hits there, so that's once that is a lot of hits. They're in light cover, so that's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hits. Uh, in light cover, six of the kills, five, uh, four fives are shock. So let's have a look at that. So we've got five there, so that's one kill, one, two, three, uh, three shock, and one kill. Let's see if it's their junior leader. On the one it is, no it isn't. And over on this side the Romanian unit has been ordered forward by the commander who couldn't get any further forward to order this unit. But he's ordered these ones to, to run forward, they're going to try to get around the edge of the farm. Meanwhile the R2 has rumbled forward one inch and is now firing at the anti-tank gun with its HE, three dice and it needs four, five, sixes. So that's one hit, reduces the uh, Cover from light down to nothing, so five or six is a kill. Uh, no, that's nothing. However, it is still pinned anyway. So straight back in with the Soviet turn is, let's have a look. Uh, another chain of command points, so that's up to five now. They retain control of this turn and two sections. This section is going to fire at the ones in the woods. However, before they do, those Romanians are going to spend one of their chain of command dice, their one chain of command dice that they've got, and they are going to interrupt the Soviet turn by firing at them instead. So let's see what we've got. We've got <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 in total. Minus 2 off that, so that's 15 rifles and an LMG, so that's our 15 rifles. Let's put this down here. And the box LMG 
However, they also have five shock, so we remove five dice, and they are firing at this group here, who are in light cover, so close range, four fives and sixes are hits, so I'll take out the misses. Ooh, there's quite a few hits there, and firing at the ones in light cover, they're going to take, let's have a look, we've got, uh, one to threes don't count, one kill, and four shock, oh dear, that's not good for them is it, so that's one kill, and four shock. And there's two teams in there, so I'll spread that across the two teams. They are then firing back. Now with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of the guys in the barn. Uh, so they are, so that's 10 rifles, sorry, 9 rifles. And their box red LMG. Uh, but minus four because of their shock and they're shooting into light cover as well so fours fives and sixes are hits so that's three hits sixes are kills four fives are shock so just one shock on the Romanians oh that was pretty poor showing there from the Soviets and over here We've got eight rifles plus the box fed LMG. That's number six. However, these have got eight shock in total. So that's removing most of theirs. So they're firing on four, five, sixes again. Uh, that's two hits. Romanians are in cover, like cover, so six is a kill. That's nothing. Pretty poor showing. But the Soviets get to retain their turn so let's see what happens with that six on its own does nothing they've got their senior leader they've also got uh, one two and a three so they might be able to do something without reducing shock and things so let's have a look at that okay so we've got a junior leader over here who's reduced shock by one uh, and then he's getting the team to fire the two teams to fire same again at the romanians in the woods because they're the closest threat. Fire fives and sixes are hits. So let's get rid of all the misses. Slightly better this time. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits, I think. Yeah, eight hits. And sixes kills four five shock. So one kill, but no shock. Let's see if it's the junior leader. <clears throat> no, it's not. So one rifleman is killed. And we're back again on the Soviet left flank. Now they've got uh, three, six, nine, plus their LMG, but minus seven because they have reduced shock by one, two, four, six, seven, but they are still pretty heavily shocked. So again, four, five, six is a hit. Remove all misses, that was a miss. So there we've got one, two, three, four, five, seven hits. Same again, sixes, sixes are kills. So one kill and no shock. So exactly the same as over there. So exactly the same result. And back in with the Romanians. Let's see what they've got this turn. Uh, so they've got two chain of command points. So that's good because they just spent their last one. Uh, a senior commander and two sections right so that was quite a good turn for the Romanians what they've done is they've moved these forward over the tracks to a close assault the unit that's the team that's in the barn uh, these are going to fire because they've been ordered to by the uh, senior commander at the back there who's able to move forward a little further so they're now in this command radius and over here uh, on the left hand side we've got this section they're going to fire at the Soviets here in the woods and hopefully do a little bit more damage or at least drive them off and hopefully collapse that flank a little bit so I'll start here with the firing and then move through uh, the other units over there
but these guys are firing with 12 dice after all their additions. So four, five, sixes. Let's get rid of all the misses. And that's five hits. Six are kills, as always. Five, one shock, and that's it. Has that tipped the Soviets over the edge? So they're now on eight shock in total. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, they're still holding on grimly. Right, let's work out this firing. We've still got uh, an almost full Romanian unit there. And they've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's 14 rifles. 14, they've got their box fired at LMG. And they have 6 shock. So remove 6 dice. Uh, let's see what we get. Ooh, not great. Ooh, that's only six hits this time. They're in light cover, six of the kills. So that's one kill and two shock. Right, so let's do this close combat. So one for every... Uh, 1d6 for every combat initiative of each leader that's present. There's only one leader there, but he is a level 2, so that's 2. Uh, the troops are the same quality. Uh, they get 1d6 per, un uh, per figure in there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, there's no shock on them. They're not aggressive. There's no SMGs or assault rifles. And that's it for the Romanians. So fives and sixes kill with six inflicting shock and there's only five in there so let's see how many kills we got one two three four uh, with the six inflicting shock so that's enough to wipe them out but let's see if the junior leader is one of them one to a four no he's not so it's those they're gone he has shock so that will then barrel over and then be added on to the rest of the section. No, it doesn't count. It's a separate fight. Um, <clears throat> so they now fight back. They start with their 5d6 per man. Then they get their 2d6 for their junior officer. Uh, the Romanians moved twice, so there's another two points. There's no shock. They are defending heavy cover, so we add 1d6 for every 2d6 they've already got. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, so that's another 4d6. And that's it. So this might cause the Romanians quite a bit of hassle as well. So 5s and 6s again. 6s causing shock. Uh, one kill. God, they got off that pretty lightly, and they've swept him away. And because there's a Soviet still in there, we fight again. So, counting up the Romanians, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 this time, isn't it? Uh, uh, let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16 this time. So we've got 5... 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, plus 2 for their junior leader. They have nothing else. <clears throat> so they only need to hit this guy. Yeah, they've killed him. He fires back with 3 and does nothing. So he's dead as well. So that means bad things happen table and when a junior leader is killed one to three is minus one off their command initiative four to six is minus two six so that's another two off the soviets so they're now down to they were on eight so they're now down to six uh, when they get below five things will start happening and the soviets <coughs> on their turn six does zero Five, another chain of command points, and they've actually got six now. So they can use that. 
uh, two twos and a four. Okay, over here we've got this section. It's going to fire across. They've only got six dice. Probably not going to do a great deal. Uh, well, say that. So that's four hits against troops in light cover. Uh, that's three shock. So that's not too bad. And meanwhile, this unit is going to fire over here. They're only rolling six dice as well. So they're rolling three hits. Four, five, six. Uh, oh, God, that's two kills and a shock. That's pretty good, actually. Don't know if it affects their, their status at the moment. That puts them up to seven. Yeah, they've got plenty more units in there. They are taking a lot of the shocks, so they're probably going to have to sort that out this turn. As the last thing that they did, the Soviets uh, ended the turn with their chain of command dice just so they could un unpin the uh, anti tank gun. Let's see what the Romanians have got. Six is nothing. Uh, a one, two twos, and their senior leader again. Right, we've got these chaps over here. These are just going to fire. Try to reduce these as much as possible if they can. Uh, that was a four, so that's a hit. That's only four hits, so again, six of the kills, four above his shock, so that's three more shock on them. Is that enough to drive them over the edge? So that tips them up to six, and that tips that up to five, so that's eleven. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so they've actually lost their bottle. That Soviet unit wasn't broken, they were pinned. Uh, but that's still pretty bad for them. So our senior leader is getting these to fire again at this, uh, these units here. Uh, they will now be probably targeting that um, anti-tank gun, I would say, at this point. So let's see how many we're firing. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13... And that's the box fed LMG, but minus seven. They're going to have to shift some of this shock, I think, before we can get any further forward. Let's have a look. Oh, that's quite a lot of hits right there. So that's six hits. As I say, spread all the way across here now. And one shock. Let's just put them up to six. Uh, but that has also pinned them as well then. We now have the uh, fire coming in from the R2. It's firing its three shots. <clears throat> Four, five, six is to hit. Firing the AT gun. That was a three, that's a miss. Two hits on it. Reduces the cover. So it's five or six is a kill this time. That's a kill, so that's destroyed that anti-tank gun. And back to the Soviets, they just had a team wiped out, so that's uh, I rolled that and it's just knocked off another force morale point, so they're now on five. And taking quite a battering. Uh, that's two chain of command points. And that gives them a one, two and a three. Probably not what they need right now. <laughs> Okay, over here, so the junior leader has reduced their shock enough to unpin them. So they're now going to fire over with their, his second activation. They will fire. So he can put his rifle in as well. And their box LMG. However, they get minus 10, 2, 4, 6, oops, 2, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're firing four dice. Don't think this is going to do a great deal. Four, five, sixes. Three hits. That's uh, above odds. And again, six of the kills. So uh, two shock. Romanians again. Oh, okay. So that's uh, four sixes and a section. So four sixes will give them a complete chain of command dice. And that's rather good. Uh, it also ends the turn as well, and means that they retain the phase for next turn. So that means everybody who is currently pinned is unpinned. Um, they also roll on the random events table as well. The random events being number three, 
Fire. A building catches fire. The building nearest the centre of the table, or flammable feature with no buildings are present, catches fire. So the random event was the barn has caught fire. Uh, that is now blowing out a big six inch square of smoke uh, moving this direction because that's the wind. That will act as a smoke screen and will remain for the rest of the game. Alright, so the uh, section will be activated is this one here, firing at the unit on this, this edge here. So let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, four hits. These need to be kills or pins. Uh, that's two pins. So that has pinned them again. Sorry, not pins. I was two shocks. So that's that has pinned them. And the Romanians, Romanians get their second phase. So we have another chain of command points. So that's one, four, one, and three now. Uh, two senior leaders and also a junior leader and a section. Well, this might be very useful at this point. They brought the R2 forward. That is going to fire at this unit here, uh, giving them four, five, six to hit. Three dice, two hits. Reroll those. Uh, they're in open because it reduces their cover. Twos are nothing. The uh, senior commander will get this unit to fire at them as well. And they are on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 14. Plus their LMG minus 7 for the shock. So they are. They're hitting on four, five, sixes as well. And that's five hits. And they're in light cover. So that's two shock and two, nothing else. So that's what's their shock all the way up to eight. Uh, still not enough to break them yet. They need a couple more, a couple more hits before they're broken, four more shock before they break. And then over on this side here, uh, this team here on Overwatch is going to fire as these come round the corner. They're firing with their LMG 6 plus 3 rifles. This is probably a good chance. Let me just check. They're just out of close combat range. So that was 5. 5 hits in the open. 5 6 of the kills. 2 kills, 2 shock. So that's two kills and then two shock on those guys. However, they only moved one dice, so they fire back, but they fire at half their movement because they moved. So they've got six, seven, uh, six, uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen, well, thirteen, twelve, because they've got their LMG as well. So put that in. And another 12. Uh, they take two off for the shock and then half the rest anyway. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So eight off. They're firing with eight. Oops. And oh, that's. Very pitiful, that's only one hit. So let's just see. And uh, that is a shock. Right, Soviet's phase. Let's have a look, we've got two chain of command points. That takes that up to four now. And a junior leader, two sections. So they're using this section to fire, it's going to come off Overwatch and will fire but before they do that the Romanians are firing at them by using one of their chain of command dice. So let's see how many shots we can get in. 12 rifles plus the LMG minus two and this time there's no reduction because of the there's no movement. So just looking for hits here There we go. So that's 
two, four, six, eight hits. And they're in the open. Five sixes are kills. That's what we're looking for. So that's three kills and two shock. So their shock zooms up to three. And three of them are killed. See if it's a junior leader. He's in there with them. Uh, yes, he is also killed. So two of those are killed. Uh, and they are then pinned. But bad things happen. Junior leader is killed. One to three, they reduce their morale by one. Four to six by two. So that's another two off the Soviets. They are now down to three on their force morale. They're close to, to breaking at this point. So they're going to return fire. They've got an LMG, box fed LMG, so that's six. Minus three because it's pinned, and then you half it because they're... Uh, sorry, minus three because of the, the shock, half it because they're pinned, so it's two. Five and six, no hits. Very, very poor. So the final thing over here is these have reduced their shock. Uh, the junior leader has reduced the shock, but they're still pinned, and they're unable to fire because they just don't have enough... Uh, they, they've got too much shock at the moment so that's the end of the Soviet's turn as you can see here more smoke has been added to this so this is uh, more will pummel out in another couple of phases so that's basically covering that uh, the the Romanian unit there anyway let's have a look at what they've got uh, oh they've got two ones a two and two sixes so they're going to retain the phase and they'll be able to do something with those Right, the uh, Romanians combined their dice to make it to four, so the senior commander who is now connected to this unit has reduced their shock by two, and with his last activation he is getting them to fire at this unit again. <clears throat> so, good God, that's a, quite a lot of hits right there. So let's see what that comes out with. How many hits is it? Two, four, six, eight, nine hits on six men. Uh, they're in cover, so that's two kills and no shock this time. Two kills, no. And they are now down to four men. They are on eight. One more kill or one more shock on them and they will break. Okay, Romanian second phase. At the end of this will be more smoke out of here as well. So we've got two fives, so that's another two chain of command points. So they're now on five. Uh, let's get rid of those and then they have two junior leaders and a senior leader uh, that's probably pretty perfect at this point I think exactly what they need okay so we've got the senior commander he's reduced the shock of this uh, platoon in here sorry this section in here and he's commanding them to fire again on these uh, you'll notice that the R2 has also pushed forward down that lane uh, that's quite a lot of hits might not need the fire from the tank. Five, ten. Ten hits on four men in light cover. So they need sixes to kills. So that's two kills, but also four shock. So that's taken their shock up to 12. It's killed two. So we'll take that base off. They have definitely broken on that I think 12 shock on two two figures so that goes on to the bad things happens table and a section breaks three four five six is two points off one or a two is one point off so three so two points off oh there the Soviets are down to one force morale now so they're only going to be rolling one dice I'd forgotten about that they will only be rolling one dice in their next turn these will fall back 12 inches which actually takes them off the table so they're off as well so they're actually destroyed so that means another roll on the bad things happen table and this time it's section wiped out which is even worse let's have a look at that uh, well, well they automatically lose one point whatever happens so the Soviets are currently on one. The section has wiped out, has, has been destroyed because he's been forced off the table. Drops it down to zero. Game over. The Romanians have won. 
So we've got the Soviets still stuck in this woodland here, uh, firing across at the Romanians who were also stuck in this woodland, but they were making more progress slowly, plugging away. Uh, they were probably going to break soon enough anyway. Over by the farmstead itself, the barn is on fire. Uh, we've got an almost destroyed Soviet unit over here. Uh, they were nearly wiped out. Underneath the smoke there is another full and pretty fresh uh, Romanian unit so they would be uh, easy uh, they would make it easy to deal with things that are going off in the barnyard we have Soviet defenders still in there they're pretty intact there is also Soviet defenders still in that barn as well they're intact but we have the uh, tank rolling now over the the bridge and uh, with the village in its sights and also this unit here as well which was uh, hardly damaged actually it's only lost a couple of units a couple of figures uh, so I think well I mean they even if their morale hadn't collapsed uh, the game is pretty much over anyway uh, fantastic game of chain of command that really enjoyed that one uh, I've hope you've enjoyed watching it uh, uh, first time I've had a fire on the board uh, and that was quite interesting, quite nice. Those poor pigs are probably smoked now, smoked bacon underneath there. Uh, but yes, it's a fantastic set of rules. Worked really well solo. No problems with it whatsoever. Uh, just if you are playing it solo, do just try to play each side at the best they can at the time, uh, in the time that you're playing. So, I'll wrap up there. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe. Uh, and hit that like button, as they all say on YouTube. Thank you very much.